everybody got an interesting demo for you tonight. Uh, basically, what I wanted to show you was a way to use the uh, various instruments that come with Logic inside of Ableton Live. Uh, as you probably know, if you're familiar with both of them, Logic, uh, the synths and stuff that come with Logic, they don't work as regular VSTs. You really can't use them outside of Logic. But there is a way, uh, using a couple of interesting little utilities, one of which is called Soundflower. It's available from Cycling74, the same guys who make Max MSP. Uh, and the other one is the built-in uh, MIDI IAC drivers that are part of OS X. And uh, this is what you do. You basically, now first thing you got to do is in your audio MIDI setup, uh, which you can find if you click in here and you type audio MIDI setup, that will get you there. Um, right here I am looking at my MIDI setup, and here's my audio setup. And first we'll look in the uh, MIDI setup, and you'll see I have a IAC driver virtual MIDI port set up. And that is the way that we're going to get the MIDI information from live over to uh, Logic. And I'm using main stage here, which is kind of... Uh, Logic's uh, uh, hosting application that lets you get into all the synth and stuff. I didn't want to use full-blown Logic, so main stage is, is perfectly uh, adequate, more than adequate. It's fantastic for doing this job. Okay, now the other thing I'm doing that is uh, important is I'm using Soundflower, and um, in this demo I'm doing things a little bit even more elaborate than that. I'm also using an aggregate device, and I am putting together uh, a sound device that is actually my Ultra Nova, which is a audio interface. Uh, also acts as an audio interface, synth with audio interface. Uh, my VS100, my Cakewalk Roland Edroll VS100, my real audio interface, and Soundflower, the virtual mini, uh, excuse me, virtual audio interface. And I combine them into a single aggregate device so that I can get to all the different inputs and outputs uh, from a single device because uh, most programs like you to just choose one. Okay, so now I have a virtual MIDI device, I have these virtual audio ports, and inside Ableton you will see on this instrument track I have dragged an external instrument that's in your uh, instrument setup, and that is guys right here, it shows up, and I've named a main stage. MIDI goes to the IAC driver, and audio comes from Soundflower, which is uh, configured as 13 and 14. Now, looking inside of main stage, when you're in layout mode, you can set, like in here, you know, click on the keyboard, set the, the MIDI device for that keyboard, and this is the IAC bus driver, and you can click on also, say, the mod wheel, which is virtual IAC bus port driver, and the pitch bend wheel, and I don't know if I set them up for the pedals, but okay, I'll do this, call it those drivers as well. Okay. Um, well, actually, I should set that to bus three. All right. Bus three. I think that one's already set. But yeah, that's it. Set to bus three. I don't know why. Sorry, I sleep at the wheel here. Um, bus three. Come on. I'm going to shrink down here a little bit. All right, there we go. And bus three. Okay. So now you'll see this MIDI track in Ableton. Uh, well, actually, I'll show you one more thing. You also, inside main stage, you want to go to Preferences, and, oh, showed up on the other screen here, there. You'll see the audio output is going to Soundflower, which is part of my aggregate device. Audio input really doesn't matter where that comes from, I'm not using that, it's just by default, my Ultra Nova here. Okay, so MIDI comes from Ableton, and then gets routed over to, uh, the main stage application. So you'll see here I have MIDI enabled, uh, monitoring the MIDI input from all channels. And if you look down here in the external instrument on that track, it goes MIDI to the IAC driver and receives audio back on 13 and 14. Oh, and it's not working. What did I do? What did I change? Get back to main stage for a second. I do have to admit this is... Oh, well, I have to be in perform mode, duh. 
sometimes this can be a little finicky because this is a really elaborate setup here with all the aggregate devices and the MIDI ins and outs. And but just this is you know kind of an advanced setup. Uh, if, you, if you followed along uh, and can figure this out, you're doing pretty well. So okay, so you'll see. Okay, bonus points if you can name that song. Uh, so I'm playing the analog lead, and I can choose different devices. And that just shows up. I can record MIDI tracks in here, and it'll play on through, and it's all good. And I can get really elaborate if you look at like, you know, the edit modes in here. You know, setting up all the different devices and choose different synths and so on. If I want to use, say, ESX24, you know, and there it is so um yeah it's uh it's a really fun way to you know because you get some amazing devices inside of logic these days and especially if you get the student uh price it's a it's a hard hard uh thing to pass up it's some amazing stuff in there and this way you get uh, kind of the best of both worlds um devices from inside logic and all the fun and excitement that uh, we're all used to into inside of uh, ableton live so hopefully this was useful to you check it out if you have any questions Please comment on the video, uh, rate the video, subscribe to the channel, and take care. Have fun.